Chapter 14, assignment 3 is how to write a net ionic equation. And there are a few steps to this. So let's just start by saying you'll always be given two compounds to begin with. They're both going to be ionic compounds. This is going to be a double replacement reaction. These can be written with single replacement reactions, but we're only going to do double replacement. So just to remind you, a double replacement reaction occurs when you switch the cations. This cation, ammonium, would switch with cadmium. Okay, you're going to switch the cations only. All right, notice that these are both labeled aqueous. They're both labeled aqueous because, according to the solubility rules, they are soluble, and you always label soluble substances aqueous because they can be dissolved in water. And these are labeled aqueous because they actually are dissolved in water to begin with. So to predict your products, instead of having ammonium sulfide, cadmium will come in ammonium's place, and you'll have cadmium sulfide. Cadmium is plus 2, sulfide is minus 2, and those two cancel. So it's just CDS. <clears throat> plus... The cadmium and the, the ammonium is going to come take the place of cadmium, and you're going to get ammonium nitrate. So that's NH4, which is plus 1, and nitrate is NO3 minus 1. Again, plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel. Now that you predicted what the products are, you have to identify the products as soluble or insoluble. Cadmium sulfide, according to the rules, Sulfides are insoluble, except with group 1, 2, and ammonium. So this cadmium sulfide is insoluble. And so I'm going to label it with an S for solid. It's insoluble. It cannot be dissolved. That means it will stay as a solid. Ammonium nitrate, on the other hand, is soluble. So I'm going to label it as aqueous, because it will stay dissolved in the solution. Okay. So we predicted the products first. Then we labeled them as soluble or insoluble. The fact that we ended up with a solid as a product means that this reaction has a precipitate, and cadmium sulfide is the precipitate. Cadmium sulfide will be labeled as the precipitate. Okay, so that was step number one. Now that we've identified your precipitate, you're going to write the net ionic equation. And in order to do that, first, you'll have to write what's called an ionic equation. In an ionic equation, you show every substance that dissociates, and you show the ions that they dissociate into. So we're going to start with ammonium sulfide. Since it is aqueous, it will dissociate, so it's going to break apart into its individual ions, ammonium and sulfide. Ammonium is NH4 plus 1. You have to write that it is aqueous. Both of these ions are going to be aqueous. And the fact that you have two ammoniums right here means that you're going to have a coefficient of 2 in front of ammonium here. Plus 1 sulfide, so I have S minus 2 aqueous. So ammonium sulfide broke down into ammonium the ammonium ion, and you have two of them, plus the sulfide ion, and you only have one. Now we're going to take cadmium nitrate and dissociate it because it is aqueous. We have one cadmium ion, and we have two nitrate ions. So cadmium is CD plus two aqueous plus two nitrate ions, and those are also aqueous. You can draw your arrow. So we broke down both of our reactants. Now let's go to the product side. Because cadmium sulfide is insoluble, it will not dissociate. So you cannot break it down. You have to leave it exactly the way it is. So you're going to write cadmium sulfide solid. Now something that we didn't do earlier, which is a major no-no on Ms. Boo's part, is that we didn't balance the equation. There are two ammoniums, two nitrates, so over here, I need my coefficient of 2. You really should balance the equation, though, after you predict the products. Okay, so cadmium sulfate, I 
brought it down. Now my ammonium nitrate, I'm going to dissociate it as well. And notice because I have a coefficient of 2, means I have two of both of my ions, two ammoniums and two nitrates. So we're going to do plus two ammoniums plus two nitrates. And running out of room over there on the board. Okay, step three, you want to eliminate the spectator ions. And the spectator ions are the ions that do not participate. Participate. Can't spell today. Participate in the reaction. The word spectator is used because they are on the side. They don't actually have any chemical change whatsoever. They are not involved in the chemical reaction. So they're going to be eliminated. And the spectator ions in this case are going to be ammonium because we have ammonium on the left and we have ammonium on the right. And nitrate. Here's a nitrate on the left. Here's a nitrate on the right. Notice that I did not eliminate sulfide or cadmium because they actually have a chemical change. They are different on the right-hand side. They, are, they retain being a solid on the right-hand side of the equation. So now that I've eliminated the spectator ions, I can write my net ionic equation. And the net ionic equation is simply going to represent the actual chemical change in the reaction. The net ionic equation represents the actual change, chemical change in the reaction. Everything that was not a spectator ion is what is involved in the chemical reaction and therefore make up my net ionic equation. And that's going to be sulfide and cadmium. Notice they are both aqueous on the reactant side and on the product side they reacted to form the cadmium sulfide precipitate. And this indeed is our precipitate, which we identified way up here earlier, but just so you know, the net ionic equation is there to represent the actual chemical change that produces the precipitate.